Sup you guys, ASD Classified here. So, it's been a minute since I made a video. In fact, this is my first video of the year that I'm uploading. So, yeah, um, figured that since season two of Beast Morphers is going to air soon, that I should make a video updating you guys on what's going on with me. So, yeah, I recently started working at a new job, so... I've been busy doing a lot of lawyer shit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a real lawyer now, guys. Mm. So yeah, been busy with lawyer shit. And uh, it's just, I just gotta find time to, you know, make videos and stuff. Because, you know, my YouTube channel is a hobby. It's a hobby that I enjoy doing. So, you know, I just gotta find time to make more videos and stuff, right? That's all, right? <clears throat> so... I remember last year that I said I was going to make a video talking about, you know, my thoughts on Beast Morphers Season 1 as a whole. Like, I was supposed to make a video on that. I actually did make a video on that, but did I edit it? No. <laughs> I have not. And there's three reasons for that. One, again, time. You know, just trying to find time to even do that kind of stuff when I'm busy with lawyer shit. Uh, two, the second reason is that I wanted to try to make it all fancy and use pictures and videos and shit. But it's like, again, who has the time to do all that? Like taking all these screenshots and like downloading clips and shit. It's a lot of time, all right, that I, again, don't have. And plus, I don't really feel like dealing with copyright shit. I don't. My channel is not big enough to be dealing with that kind of shit. It isn't, you know. Nobody cares about fair use, okay? <laughs> they don't care. So... At this point, I'm thinking if I do upload that video that I will just, you know, do a classic vlog rant shit. Fuck all that extra stuff, you know. And the third reason, I don't know. A part of me feels like, you know, what I said in that video, a lot of it I've already said in my other videos talking about these morphers. But I see the good in putting all of that in one video though. So I might just still go ahead and upload it anyway. But in case I don't, in case I don't upload my review of Beast Morphers season one as a whole, let me just summarize it for you. Beast Morphers is not a bad season, but it has a lot of issues. Okay, it's not a bad season, but it's not a great season either. It's a run-of-the-mill season. It is a season that a lot of fans kind of congratulated for doing the bare minimum. Like, <laughs> it does the bare minimum, and a lot of people in the fandom are just like, oh, give it an Emmy immediately. So I just, <laughs> dare, like, Pretty much, that's how I feel about Beast Morphers. It's just, it's a run-of-the-mill season. And I feel like if the Power Rangers franchise, if the Power Rangers franchise wants to, like, take it to the next level, it wants to be seen up there with the big boys, you know, the Marvel shits and the DC shits. If Power Rangers really wants to be on that level, then uh, we need a season that's way better than Beast Morphers. We just do. Straight up. Beast Morphers isn't really good enough to elevate the Power Rangers franchise. It isn't. It isn't. It has a ton of flaws. Flaws that could have been easily corrected and they choose not to. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of that summarized to me. <laughs> you know? Mm. Oh, and before anybody starts, I really don't want to hear how Beast Morphers is better than Ninja Steel. I really don't. <laughs> I do not care that Beast Morphers is better than Ninja Steel. It is not hard to be better than Ninja Steel. Most TV shows that air are better than Ninja Steel. That doesn't impress me. That don't impress me much. Okay, don't care. Don't care that Beast Morphers is better than Megaforce. Don't care that it's better than Samurai. Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Again, I'm not congratulating Beast Morphers for doing the bare fucking minimum. Okay, I guess I could also talk about the new trailer that aired for season two of Beast Morphers, you know? I mean, it was okay. I saw a lot of people were very excited about it, which is fine. I mean, if you love Beast Morphers, you love it. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, it didn't move me that much, you know? It's like, oh, Evox is alive. Mm, duh. Oh, the Avatars are back. Mm, duh. Like, <laughs> none of that really surprised me. It's, I mean, I watch Go Busters. So, the Avatars came back 50,000 times in Go Busters. So, that doesn't really surprise me that Beast Morphers is kind of following that. 
Also, Beast Morphers itself hinted at the Avatars being able to come back a lot. I mean, I think it was episode 12 where Blaze was like, oh no, you can't kill us. We'll always come back and blah, blah. So again, they kind of set this up. So I'm not really surprised that the Avatars are back and I really don't care because I don't like them. So yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to wait and see what Beast Morphers season two has to offer. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Last thing I want to talk about. You know, No Pink Spandex posted on their Twitter account some, I guess, uh, convention thing that Austin St. John was at. I, guess, I think it was in December of 2019. Austin St. John was at a convention. And he was explaining why he came back for this little team-up event in Beast Morphin Season 2. So, Austin St. John was saying he's coming back because Jillian really asked him to and begged him to. And Jillian was telling him that, hey, this is my last hurrah. And for my last hurrah, before I leave this shit, I want to bring back the OG Red Ranger. You know, the original Red Ranger. I want to bring you back for a special I'm doing in my last season of Power Rangers before I get out this bitch. So, yeah, Jillian leaving. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> You know, something I never thought I'd say about Jillian. But I'm very excited that he's going to be leaving because that means we'll get fresh blood, hopefully. You know, we'll get some fresh blood, some fresh energy in this shit, and maybe we'll get a, like a really great, amazing season of Power Rangers because we desperately need one. So, I'm happy about this. <laughs> I'm happy about this. Like, look, Jill Lynn has been on the show for so long. And, like, despite what I think about his recent work, I will always respect Jill Lynn for the seasons that he gave me that are some of my favorite seasons of all time. You know, I'll always respect him for that. Like, the work he's done since the freaking beginning of this series. You know, there are episodes in, like, season two of Power Rangers that I love that he had his hand in and stuff. So, look, I have nothing but respect for Jill Lynn, you know. So... Just because I don't like his recent stuff and just because I'd rather somebody new come in or somebody that, you know, could write something that I like come in. Like, it's no disrespect. I just, I just need some fresh blood. I need another take on this show. Okay, I can't sit through another ninja still. <laughs> I can't. I can't. And again, we deserve better than Beast Morphers. We do. Beast Morphers is uh, it's a good stepping stone, I guess. I don't know. But we deserve better than this. We need better than that. So, yeah. Kind of... Yeah, kind of excited about this. <laughs> Hasbro seems to be making a lot of big changes in the background. Some fans are worried about that. I don't know. I'm a wait and see kind of person. I'll wait and see what these changes are going to bring to the franchise. So yeah, that's really all I got to say. I just want to keep this video short. But yeah, expect new videos from me, you guys. All right, later. Jamata.